Welcome to Grass's first tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over on how to initialize and set up Grass system for the first time. So you should have your content Grass folder over here. So if you open it up, you should find a couple of folders in here. We will mostly be working with tools for all our setups. So if you go into tool, the first thing you have to do is drag and drop the save manager. The save manager handles everything for structuring and packaging, which you can find in the structuring and packaging video where I explain how the entire grass system works. Next, you can go to the object which you want to save. For this example, I'll, I want to save the location of this character right here. So going to that character and opening it up, I'll add a grass safe container to the component. Next, I'll go to the class settings and then in the interface, I'll add a grass save interface. This will tell the grass save manager that this object is using the save interface and will in immediately give us all functions regarding it. Next, I'll suggest creating a new graph just to handle saving and loading. I'll call it the saving graph. In this saving graph, I'll create a begin play event. If you already have a begin play event over here, what you could do is you could create a custom event over here. So like you could create a custom event called save begin play. So, and then in the event graph, you could call the save event begin play. So this will bring us to the save graphics begin play. But for this case, I'll just use the main begin play itself because I really don't need the begin play over in this graph, at least for this tutorial. So once I get this, we need to hook up a GUID system. So now GUID is a global unique identifier with which the entire system works on. It is basically an address for whatever the object, the save interface is implemented on. So I'll go to the variables and create a new variable called GUID. It will be a struct of GUID. You can generate a new GUID. Once you've did this once, make sure you don't generate a new key. If you do, if you already had a save in the system, it will get corrupted. So once I generate this GUID, what I have to do is, I'll go to, I'll drag the save container here and I'll pull out a function called the update GUID. If you have seen the other tutorial where I explain how this works, this step of update GUID should probably now make sense. So now update GUID, should get this value right here and put it here automatically every single time we run the game next we need two more events one for saving and one for loading you could come here and right click and implement function and then move it to the saving graph or you could type load game here itself and then take in the event load game so now this is the basic setup for every single object so if you had some other object you will put in the safe container for that object and then put in the interface and then update the GUID so this is the main framework structure for the grass system.